boys and girls, I got a great project for you today. I'm going to show you how easy it is to transform a simple cardboard paper tube into one of these fantastic cardboard learning buddies that you can have with you while you're doing your homework, keeping you company so you can study hard and be successful in school. If you want to find out how to do this, just watch. These are the suggested supplies to make your paper towel learning buddy. First, I'm going to cut a paper towel in half while we start working on the shark. Then, I'm going to put some dots of glue on some blue construction paper and roll it gently around the paper towel tube. Now I'm going to draw a V shape on the end of the paper towel tube and cut it out on both sides. This will be the mouth of our shark. Now I'm going to draw a sail shape and that is going to be the top shark fin. Then I'm going to take some scrap and I am going to cut a rectangle, two rectangle strips. Now I'm going to take the strips and fold them into a pleat. I'm folding under, folding over, folding under and over and then once I finish and pull it out it's going to look like a little accordion. Now I'm going to put some glue on both sides and we're going to glue this to the sides of the shark. These are going to be his gills. Next I'm going to take a piece of red paper fold it in half and draw a semicircle. Open it up and now we're going to fit it in his mouth. I'm going to put some glue on the inside of the mouth and then we're going to place it back inside push it tightly so it sticks together. Now we're going to fold a white piece of paper in half make another semicircle and you are going to start cutting out some triangles. These will be his teeth. Put some dots of glue inside the red and start applying his teeth. Trim as needed. You don't want the teeth hanging out and push them down so they stick. Next you're going to take a blue piece of paper you're going to draw a half a banana shape and a large Y. You're going to cut them out and we will have his side fins and his tail fin. Take your time while cutting. Make sure you do a great job, as I know you will. Now we're going to put some glue on the fins, fold it over at the very end so it will attach to the body. Then push it in, hold it tight until the glue sets up and it's sticking firmly. And then you're going to want to do the same thing to the other side. Little dots of glue, push it in, hold it tight. We're going to put some glue on our tail and then we're going to stick that to the very bottom and push that down tightly. Now we're going to get a white piece of paper we're going to fold it in half and draw a circle. Then we're going to cut it out and these are going to be the eyes. We now need to draw two black circles inside. We're going to glue these to each side of our shark. Well, our first paper towel tube learning buddy is all done. Now it's about time to start working on our caterpillar. With this one, we're going to use a hole tube. We're going to put some glue on it and we're going to wrap some green paper around it. Slowly rolling, pushing down and putting glue on and making sure that the paper sticks 
to the paper towel roll. Now, if you've ever eaten sushi before, you know sushi comes in small little rolls. Well, we're going to slice up our paper towel roll into what looks like little sushi rolls. Then we're going to take glue, put some dots of glue on each of the rolls and press and hold them tightly together until we get all of them stuck together except for one. The last one we will stick that on top for the caterpillar's head. Then we're going to get a piece of orange paper and we're going to cut some long strips. We need two long strips. These are going to be his antenna. And then I'm making a curl by just taking my scissor and running it across the orange paper. We now have two curled antennas and I've cut the ends off and I'm going to glue them to the very top of his head. And he has two beautiful curly Q antennas. We need to take some white paper, fold it in half, draw a circle, cut it out. We will now get two circles and we're going to do like we did with the shark. Take our marker, draw a circle inside the white circles and we're going to glue them on front of his face so he has eyes on the orange paper I'm going to also cut a smiling face and a little round nose and I'm going to glue them on the very front so our caterpillar is smiling happy and we have completed our second cardboard tube learning buddy Mr. Caterpillar Time to make our snakes. You're going to take a half a tube, you're going to start painting it red. We're going to have one that's red, and we're going to have a tube that's green because we're going to have two snakes. Now I'm going to take my scissor and on a diagonal, I'm going to start cutting into the tube until I get all the way to the end. I'm going to do the same thing again with the red tube and see how it's curling around as I cut and cut and cut. Now it almost looks like we have two curly ribbons. What I need to do now is give it some facial features. I'm going to take a white piece of paper, fold it in half, draw my circles and cut them out. We're going to have eyes. Then I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to color in for his pupil. Then I'm going to glue the eyes to the face. But we know after I glue the eyes on that all snakes have one special characteristic that they use to sense out things and it's their tongue. We're going to make a tongue out of red paper and we're going to make it into the form of a Y. And we're going to glue that down underneath and put two dots for his little nostrils. Now you're going to do the same thing for the red strip. Now I have both of my snakes, my red one and my green one, but we need to decorate their bodies. I'm going to first take some black paint and put some dots. You could use marker if you wish or even cut out some paper. And now I have some gold paint which I'm making some larger brush marks on it. I've created patterns on both of my snakes and they are done. Now we're going to start on our lion. We're going to take a half of cardboard tube. We're going to roll orange paper around. We're going to draw a circle and cut that out for his face. We're going to cut slits in the end of the tube and fold that over for the lion's mane. Now we're going to also cut slits on the circle for his face and then we're going to add glue after we also fold those slits over. The mane is the part of the lion's, the big bushy hair that the lion has. We're going to put that in and press it until it sticks. Now I'm going to fold a piece of orange paper in half, cut four rectangular strips for his legs. I'm going to make a long bushy tail and cut that out. And then I'm going to attach that to his body using glue. 
we're going to put two legs on one side two legs on the other and then we're going to fold his feet so that he can stand evenly on all four feet now I'm going to cut out two eyes I'm going to take a marker and draw the pupils and then I'm going to attach them to his face also I'm going to draw a a triangle for his nose a straight line and a curving line and lots of freckles for his face for the octopus I'm going to take another half cardboard tube cut four slits at the end fold them over and glue them down then I'm going to start cutting slits on the opposite side and curl the slits with my scissor so that they will become the octopus's tentacles then I'm going to get my brush and some paint I'm going to paint him hot pink and I'm going to add some other colors to it to accent the pink then I'm going to fold some paper over and make eyes just like we've done before and I'm going to draw a nose and a nice smiling face and he's done. To save time with the crocodile I use some special scissors. They're called pinking scissors and they have a serrated edge and I cut his mouth and his tail out. Now I took another tube and I cut it open, folded it over and added glue and I'm going to cut zigzag lines on that. That's going to give us the ridges for his back. Now I'm going to add glue and attach that to his back. After that I'm going to go back to my scrap and I'm going to get four rectangular shapes and glue them on for his legs. And I'm going to bend the ends up for his feet. We got to do this on both sides and make sure the glue is set tight. Now I'm going to cut some oval shapes and put them on for his eyes and for his nostrils. Then it's going to be just about time to start painting. And you know, crocodile has to be green. So I'm going to paint and paint and paint him up till he's a nice, beautiful green. And then I'm going to use a little red inside his mouth so he looks just like a crocodile. The last part, I have to give him some eyes, cut some white paper, I'm going to draw some black pupils, just like we've been doing the whole time in this video. It's dance time with the Cardboard Tube Learning Buddies. Get up and dance with the Learning Buddies. <laughs> 